I really think every wedding is unique. The bride and groom have put so much time and energy into the smallest little detail. So I really try and capture that. You know, we had met David in Santa Barbara at a wedding that he had shot shortly after we got engaged. His name has definitely traveled through my group of friends, Brandon's group of friends. We're at an age right now where a lot of friends are getting married. We immediately recommend David J. Chris and Christine decided to have a destination wedding down in Mexico. They're bringing in 200 people from all over the country. We had a blast shooting the wedding, but also just hanging out and enjoying our time in Mexico. Welcome to day two. Yesterday was a hectic day at the airport, but now we're gonna go have some fun. Come on! I just saw a sign for San Francisco, so I, I think we went a little bit too far north. So, vamos! Wedding time, vamos! I like to get everything out and ready to go. That way when we head in, we're ready to shoot. Here's the bride. You know, couples always come back to me and I love these getting ready pictures. He does a great job of being able to be there for a lot of the candidates and to capture the emotion and sort of the behind the scenes stuff that is very fun for the bride and groom to see later. Is it always like this? Are most people like really calm and collected? <laughs> You're calm and collected. I, <laughs> I think the rest of us are frazzled. Okay, you feel better. <laughs> it's so fun now to look back at the pictures and to see, you know, just the little glimpses and the things that the bride and groom might not even remember doing, but are so important to the wedding day and bring back, you know, so many emotions when they see them. After the wedding, Chris and Christine uh, hopped in this little convertible and I wanted to be right there and, you know, shooting them, kissing and talking and, and so I jumped out of the Jeep and, you know, ran over and jumped right in the back of the convertible. And I'm so glad that I did that because we got some really fun shots. So when we get to the reception, I download all the pictures to my laptop, sort out my favorite ones, and then edit those with show it effects. Now what we have is this awesome presentation that we're able to show to the bride and groom and to all the guests at the wedding. The guests go home and they tell all their friends about me and about the photos that they saw right there at the wedding. And those referrals are what get me all my business. The trick to being a successful wedding photographer is just to find beautiful brides. That's all you gotta do. As a wedding photographer, it's funny because I recommend him to everyone, like even some of my clients. He's an amazing person and, and we've really enjoyed meeting him and working with him and now being friends with him. Over the years I've been able to meet so many wonderful couples and so many awesome photographers. I really look forward to building on those relationships with my clients and my colleagues. And I also really look forward to making new ones. I'm David, you want to uh, vamanos? That's not very funny. <laughs>